below the surface of it. Oh it's no, never... this is this is. I'm sorry to interrupt, Don't, but no, we're, no, we're no, getting no. into Claire's um, no, fine, no. finest hours here, and this is so wonderful to watch. To me, I mean the the, the way that she manipulates. Um, what hurt last night was that there was Charles, that her character manipulates Charles in these sequences is like just a... terrifying and beautifully played by Claire. When there were only ourselves here. And of course this scene ends with the... I think of you very much. Am I right, Derek? Is it not referred to as the big test? The, 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 the book, she has a book that she presents to him. Yes. Uh, Uncle Ned's book. Uncle Ned. Uh, Uncle the, 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 the heroic <coughs> brother killed in the war. I kept coming back to that one thing. How unhappy he was. Was Claire Booms casting your idea, Derek, or was that Sir Charles? Uh, it was Michael. It was Michael. And my, uh, in, in a kind of way, she was slightly off-casting for this. Uh, and, 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 and a number of very distinguished, uh, quite grand ladies had been up. And Michael detected in Claire the steel that it wanted. Mm -hmm. Michael was very, very good at casting. He was extraordinarily shrewd at casting. Um, and, and Just as well, since he cast the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. but, no, but, no, but he was a very, very, very creative. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, his casting of Phoebe, I mean, he, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it, it, it was... I mean, we were all pitching in an awful lot, and, and Doreen Jones, who was marvellous and was earmarking everybody in, in on the British uh, in the British acting profession. Interesting here too that not just in what Claire's doing, but look at Jeremy. Look at what can be read in Jeremy's performance at this moment about the relationship with Sebastian. No, I don't mind that. It's fascinating what he re reveals to the audience in little little flashes of you see, it's all how he's going along with her, but. Well, I can only say that I've seen him drunk often, and I've been drunk with him often. But last night was quite new to me. I don't mean with Sebastian, I mean years ago. I've been through it all before with someone else whom I loved. The root of the problem. Well, you must know who I mean, with his father. He used to get drunk in just that way. Someone told me he's not like that anymore. I pray God it is true, and I thank God for it with all my heart, if it is. I remember <laughs> the, the, the tiny touch mention of father here um, reminds me immediately of the fact that when I first met Laurence Olivier on this set, um, well, not on this set that we're looking at, but uh, on the set of Brideshead, the first thing he said to me was, so, should we get drunk? <laughs> he thought perhaps if we got tipsy together, we would... Um, <laughs> Exchange a few family notes, I suppose. <laughs> and did you? Oh, we did actually have a few. <laughs> that, that was extraordinary because he adored drink. He used to call it, in a rather frivolous way, Daddy's Num Nums. <laughs> Isn't it time for dad, Dad's Num Nums? He would say, sometimes at four o'clock in the afternoon. And I'd say, well, it's a little early. But on the other hand, he was incredibly disciplined when he was working. And uh, he, he, he went off the booze altogether for something like um, four to six weeks if he was doing a play. And he went into training. I mean, he, you know, even, is, even as an owner. Here's the book. Here's Uncle Ned. Here's the book, Uncle Ned's book. They were three splendid men. Ned was the best of them. He was the last to be killed. And when the telegram came, as I knew it would come... If you get the chance to watch this scene without us all interrupting it, what is so extraordinary about... What she's doing here is that you it, you read almost instantaneously during the speech. Her whole life stretches out in front of you. These men who had dominated her life, her own family life, and the tragedy of what had happened in her long chase for repetition of that in her own life. And of course, the massive misunderstanding and disappointment of Sebastian. I thought at the time she planned this parting before ever I came in. Had she rehearsed all the interview? Mm -hmm. If things had gone differently, <laughs> would she have put the book back in the drawer? Very definitely. War is so wonderful about her too. I mean, I mean, because 
ball. Look at this detail, though, Derek. This is where you should be proud. I mean, not a thing on that desk is wrong. The way that everybody does everything, the use of the blotter, the way that everybody behaves almost completely naturally, but absolutely within the period. These things are not always evident, and it was marvellous. Sorry to interrupt you. No, you, you haven't. I, I, I dried up. <laughs> so it's quite funny, actually, looking at it again.